Greetings to all you English learners out there. I hope you are ready for lesson number 16. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the days of the week, the months of the year, and how to talk about years when explaining moments in time. Now, there's a lot to cover in this lesson, but once you learn about this information, you will have surely learned enough to start speaking in more complex conversations in English. So are you ready? Uh, first, we're going to go over the days of the week. So the days of the week in English are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In the United States, most people begin the week with Monday. Uh, this is because this is the day when people go back to work, people go back to school, everything begins on Monday. So uh, oftentimes in the calendar, for example, you'll see the day of the, uh, the week starts with Sunday. Okay, so you'll see Sunday up at the top. It goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But normally, Americans, we say it like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? Notice that all of these words have the word day at the end. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay? Don't forget, there are seven days in a week. Okay? Uh, now, oftentimes, when we talk about the days of the week, guys, we're going to... English speakers, we use two words, okay? We're going to use these words today. The first word that we use is from. Okay, and the second word that we use is on. So from and then on. Uh, we use these to talk about time, when we need a reference for time. Uh, we use from, this one right here, we use from, uh, to show like a point in time when something begins, when something starts. Okay, and then we use the word on right here to specify when something happens on what day of the week, like specifically. Which day did this happen? On what day specifically did it happen? So we use this to talk about a specific day and we use from to talk about when something starts, when something begins, okay? For example, you can say, I have an appointment on Friday at 10 a.m., okay? And an appointment can be to go see the doctor, to go to the mechanic, to go cut your hair, to go, um, to the nail salon to go anything you want okay an appointment is a moment in time when you go to meet with somebody else who provides you a service okay that's an appointment and then you could see here that we have another one it says i work from monday to friday from 8 a.m to 5 p.m i work from monday to friday from 8 a.m to p.m so we start with monday we go down to Friday, usually we call this the work week. The work week spans from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. That's the work week. You can also hear it called the weekday. Okay, the weekday. So I work the weekdays. I work from Monday to Friday, from 8 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. in the evening. A.m. means morning, p.m. means evening. You could say, I work the weekday, but you know, the weekends I'm free, okay? So on the weekends I have nothing to do. I'm free on the weekends, okay? So you'll notice that Americans typically use, uh, we say, we call Saturday and Sunday the weekend, you know, when we have free time, and then the weekday is when we work, okay? And all of this right here, all seven days, we just call the week, okay? And there are 52 weeks in a year, okay? Um, let's go ahead and go to the next one here. It says, Saturday is my favorite day of the week. So this day, Saturday, okay? Now, Saturday is probably your favorite day of the week because, well, from Monday to Friday you work, okay? Sunday is also a day of rest, um, but think about it you go to sleep on sunday and then when you wake up on monday you have to go to work again so i don't know to me my favorite day of the week is also saturday because it's a day of rest you can you don't have to worry about the next day okay it's a day where you have off 
it's a nice time to relax. So Saturday is my favorite day of the week. I like to go to the park on Saturday, specifically talking about Saturday, what you want to do on Saturday. Okay, or maybe you like Sunday, maybe you like to go to church uh, Sunday morning or whatever you want to do on Sunday, okay? All right, guys, so we just learned the days of the week. We learned from and on. Uh, now let's move on to months of the year, okay? Remember that there are 12 months in a year, okay? The months are January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, and December. I'll say it one more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, so these are the months of the year. Uh, make sure to memorize these. Also, make sure to memorize the days of the week. Okay, now uh, when Americans say dates, typically we say dates like we use the month first. So we'll take one of the months when we're talking about a date, like on what day is Christmas? Okay, on what day is Christmas? So you'll begin with the month and then you'll say the day and then you'll say the time of the year. So I'll put a Y here for year month, day, and year. This is how we do it in the United States. In other countries, it's different. In Canada, it's different, and in uh, England, uh, it is also different. I, I think it's different in Australia as well. So, uh, what day is Christmas? Okay, you begin with a month. December. Okay, so we'll say... I don't know if I have enough room here. We'll say December... And then what do you say after? December, and then you choose the day. So December 25th, okay? Now, you can say December 25, but most Americans we add, we use an ordinal number, okay? So we'll look at the ordinal numbers too, but we'll use 25th with the TH, and then you put the year. So this year is 2020, 2020, okay? So very, very easy. Um, Let's go ahead and move on to ordinal numbers, okay? So, we use ordinal numbers in the United States for telling time and uh, using it with months and days of the week. Uh, specifically, we use it with days of the week. So, the ordinal numbers are, remember, with one, you say first. With two, you say second. With three, you say third. With four, you say fourth. With five, you say fifth. Now, I'll just say the ordinal numbers. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. Okay, twentieth. You hear that? Ith. Twenty-first. So you're going to take these ones up here and you bring them down, okay? Twenty-first. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and then we have 30th, okay, it's kind of like 20 right here, we have 20th with the ith, we have 30th, so 40, what would 40 be? 40 would be 40th, 50, 50th, 60, 60 Ith, 70, 70th, 80, 80th, 90, 90th, and then when you have a hundredth for the number 100, okay? Um, okay, so notice that we attach, and I'll write it here. In English, we attach an ST, okay? Uh, so ST, and then we also attach an ND, and we also attach a RD. Okay, for the first three numbers. So this is number one, this is number two, and then this is number three. Um, okay, we don't do it for 11, 12, and 13. 
okay? But we do it for the other ones, but not 11, 12, 12 and 13, okay? We don't do it for those ones. Um, all the rest of the numbers, we use TH. TH, okay? So for four through all the rest, okay? Through nine or whatever, okay? Um, you can see it here, like with first, second with ND, third with RD, fourth with TH. So pretty easy, guys. Um, these are the ordinal numbers. These are the months. These are the days of the week. These are from, okay, when something begins. And then this is on, the word on. So from and on. On we use to talk about a specific date. So now let's talk about the dates. Okay, now in English, each year for a new century is pronounced like this 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, and 2000. I'll say it one more time 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, and 2000. Okay, uh, most years are then separated into two numbers, okay? So, f for example, here it's easy because we have zero, 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 zero. Um, so we just say 16 and then zero, zero is 100. So 1600, 1700, 1800, 1900, this is 2000, okay? It's a little different, 2000. Then you have it separated into two numbers, 1835, 1914. 2019, 2020, again, 1835, 1914, 20, yeah, 2019 and 2020, okay? On a side note, all right, just so you know, uh, for the years in the 2000s, you can say them in two ways. First, you can say them in two numbers, like, you know, how we had it here, 2019. So you can say it with two numbers like that, or 2020. Or the second way you could say it is by saying uh, the full number, okay? So 2019 would be 2019. Uh, 2020 would be 2020. You say the whole number. So you can use two ways in uh, this style okay um, let's go ahead and we'll move down to the next category it's a little bit different okay uh, when we're talking about the first nine years of a new century okay you have to pronounce it like this so whenever we talk about the first nine years of a new century okay you know what a century is so this is a century this is a century the 1600s this is a century this is a century this is a century and this is a century you have to say 1601 1704 1808 20 Oh one, twenty, oh nine. Remember, for these ones here, you could say two thousand and one, two thousand and nine, twenty oh one, twenty oh nine. Okay, sixteen oh one, seventeen oh four, eighteen oh eight, twenty oh one, or two thousand and one, uh, twenty oh nine, two thousand nine. Okay. Also, when you want to talk about events that occurred during a specific decade, you have to say it like this. So from 1960 to 1969, you have to say the 60s, okay? The 60s. So, for example, uh, the Beatles, okay? The Beatles were popular in the 60s, um, so we just say the 60s from 1960 to 1969. Okay, the Beatles were popular in the 60s. 1970, 1979, the 70s. 80 to 89, the 80s. 90 to 99, the 90s. And then 2000 to 2009, we say the 2000s. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Just make sure you memorize that. Uh, now let's go ahead and learn how to talk about when you were born. So in the first example, it says number one, it says, uh, when were you born? And then it says, I was born on month, day, year. Okay, you remember how we had it over here, month, day, and year? I was born on month, day, and year. I was born on, you choose. 
I was born on February 29th and then <laughs> choose a year <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> so I was born on April 6th okay and then you choose the year remember when we choose the day here remember you have to use uh, ST and D RD or the TH when you give the number okay just like how we did it right here you have to do this do the same thing over there when you use the dates okay number two when is your birthday my birthday is on month and then the day my birthday is on June 12th okay my birthday is on November 30th 30th okay so you choose what you want um, what day is Christmas notice when we're talking about a birthday guys uh, we don't have to use the year unless you want to be really specific when you talk about when you're born but no when we talk about birthdays don't don't put the year number three what day is Christmas on Christmas is on December 25th we have the ST every year okay so every year every year 2001 2002 2003 2004 keeps on going on number four when were the Beatles the most popular the Beatles were the most popular from the 60s to the 70s uh, number five says in which month so notice we're talking about uh, in like in what month is Halloween you could say uh, in what month is Christmas okay in which month is Christmas in which month is Halloween in what month is Halloween you say if you don't want to use which you could say what okay in which month is Halloween which sounds better okay I think it sounds good in which month is Halloween Halloween is in October okay so guys this is pretty much it for these uh, for this lesson we have days of the week months then ordinal numbers the dates and then remember we have from to talk about when something begins and on to talk about a specific day okay of the month and I think that's gonna be it for this lesson so I hope that you now know how to talk about the days of the week and the months and the numbers and the years uh, as always thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you next time okay like and subscribe if you like this video bye guys